So the sun, as we usually think of, um, it's a big uh, ball, yellow ball, iconic ball, very quiet, very romantic, as we could imagine during a sunrise. While actually the sun is way more active, here you see the sun rotating and involving in time with a lot of activities. This activity is generated from the magnetic field, which is popping out into the atmosphere, the solar atmosphere that we also call the corona. We can see some very bright regions where the activity is very intense, but we can also see some darker regions that appear slightly more quiet, slightly more darker. Well, actually, I'm studying those particular regions. Those regions, what we know is that um, they are uh, large and that the magnetic field is open there, where um, the solar material can escape, a bit like a window, an open window where the solar wind can flow out of the corona. Um, the, um, what we do not know is how do they exactly form, how do they involve with time, and how do they vanish. This solar wind, this actually fast, constant solar wind, is blowing out of the corona and reaching the Earth. While reaching the Earth, it brings a lot of solar material, a lot of particles. Those particles can interact and hurt the satellites, or more particularly, the solar panels, and can destroy and damage some of the solar panel cells. It can also disturb and interact with the technology and all the um, devices whereby or astronauts. Um, it can reach the Earth and disturb the power plant, the power um, network. And another, exam another example is uh, the communication. And for example, in plane company, in the future, we really want to learn more about this solar wind and the space weather that is generated. And for also the future, for the exploration of the, uh, the future exploration of space. And I'll leave you with this image. <laughs>